And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for joining us tonight. Now, soccer player Ashrif Hakimi's marriage may not have worked out, but some are praising him for making what's believed to be the ultimate financial chess move. Hakimi makes more than $250,000, $215,000 a week and is one of the highest paid soccer players on the African continent. His ex-wife asked for half of his earnings in the divorce settlement, but she came up very, very empty. Turns out, Akimi has nothing in his own name because he put every single one of his assets in his mother's name. Joining me now to talk about this and how common folk can use this advice for your nickels and dimes and protect our own personal assets, former basketball player and now Harris County Judge Joe Stevens, real estate developer Jay Bradley, and social media influencer Bevan Biggers. So Bevan, I heard women were kind of salty about this move. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm you not have that a millionaire. Salty. You have a millionaire that yeah. you're married to, and you think you're getting half, and then you go check the account, and there's nothing in his name. Yeah, I mean, but you don't need half. If she wasn't there prior to the mayor, I mean, if he, if she wasn't there from start to where he's at now, she mm -hmm. doesn't really deserve half. However, if you have to, if you have to hide all of your assets from the person that you're with, then maybe you shouldn't be getting married in the first place. You don't see it as a gangster move? No. <laughs> Jay, what I do you guess. think about that? And, and have you taken measures to protect yourself? You know, I've, I've been married and divorced, and, and, and mine didn't end up the way his did. <laughs> I, 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 somebody should have told me and gave me a clip <laughs> notes up front. However, man, I, nobody's talking about the mom's role in this. Uh -huh. I feel like mom came in and was like, son, here's what we're going to do just to make sure you're good. In a few years, we'll talk he's about a young it. Cat. Yeah. And, and it takes mom's knowledge to come Thank up you. with something like this. Thank you. I mean, that, that's a mama bear move. That's mm -hmm. a, I'm going to protect my baby, man, and go from there. And I think a good mom is supposed to t protect the son. I would do that too if my kid was like, you know, big money. Everybody's looking at my kid for a paycheck. I get it. So I'm not really mad at the You got to think about it too. They met when he was like 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. He's still a teenager. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. She's in her 30s. She knew what was up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, yeah. Judge Joe Stevens, who also played for the Houston Rockets, do you think young athletes should take a page out of this book? Or what do you think about it? I just think, I think protecting your assets is, is very important in any realm, whether in sports or otherwise. Um, I think one of the probably the most, most notable examples of that is O.J. Simpson. Uh, O.J. had most of his assets in a trust. Uh, which was protected from at, from judgment creditors, and that's kind of what sustained him through the whole civil trial that he went through. So I think asset protection, you know, whether you're married or otherwise, is a very important tool that common folks can use. Now, do you think it's fair to the wife who may have been there with you from the very beginning? I, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it, it's, it's 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 uh, it's six on one hand, half a dozen on the other. I need to know all the facts to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I just gave you the facts, yeah. Judge. <laughs> She's been there with you from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. Supported you, maybe. And of course, right. if children are involved, yeah, that's a totally and different then, story. So she, she deserves something. I think yeah. she doesn't deserve to get in. I think, I don't know if that would fly here in the States. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know if taking your assets and hiding them the way he did them would fly here. Not in Texas. Yeah, I don't think they'll fly in the States. Mm -hmm. Texas, she getting half, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or they will have those uh, forensic accountants exactly. come in and they will track every dime down. But what about, Jay, if there is a wife involved and children? Does that change the picture at all? I feel like as a man, you're supposed to step up and take care of your family. Now, if, and supposedly there are some infidelity, and on top of that, there were some other allegations as far as assault um, that comes into, and then so she basically cashed in her chips or thought she was cashing in her chips at the time. Now, I, you know, I think anybody smart, she's not a gold digger, in my opinion. She had her own money. She was an actress and had been an actress for quite some time. So at the end of the day, I mean, before you start a marriage, you're supposed to sit down and have these conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, what's, what's, you know, are, how are we going to devise everything if this doesn't work out? Um, and I think that's a conversation that it seems like they didn't have because at that point she would have realized, okay, everything's in a mama name. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Bingo. So, what would you guys advise the average person who may be concerned about their assets and, and if they go through an ugly divorce or separation and someone wants half? Prenup. Prenup up front, man. All, all my guys, we have these conversations. 
and then you can set up everything. Okay, if we last five years, then here's what's, and the kids will be taken care of, or I have to take care of the housing responsibilities or educational responsibilities. It's all about communication. Just set everything up front so that way there isn't any question. If there's a divorce, if you go out and do something in the streets and it comes back home, then you know exactly what the, what the, what the consequence is going to be. So, so you can, wait, I have a, I have a question. So uh -oh. if somebody cheats on me in a marriage, Prior to us being married, can there be something written in the pre prenup that if you cheat on me, this is it's what I prenup. want out of it? Judge, this is there, it's, 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 there, it's, there flexibility it's, it's binding. It's a contract. Yeah, oh. you it's have a contract. to have that put in in the beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would just say, Isaiah, that whatever happens, marriage or otherwise, it needs to be fair and equitable for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't understand what goes into a prenup. I think that's why I was just asking that specific question, because yeah. I'm like, well, what goes into one? You create the whatever contract want, that yeah. you want, whether it's, it can be about anything. I mean, there's even been some people that have put a weight gain at, uh, clause in there. If the woman gains over, and I'm not saying that this is okay, but if there's a woman, <laughs> if you gain over a certain amount of weight, then he has the option to opt out or whatever it may be. Well, I learned that from 90 Day Fiance, so there was one couple where she required a baby in a certain amount of time. Yeah, clock's ticking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. interesting. Uh -oh. So you would get you ideas. be willing as a female, as a woman, to sign that, Bevan? Well, um, yes, I would because women have assets too, and I would like to protect mine. And so, yeah, I would. I, I think absolutely would. That's the most interesting thing about this case is that now, since she's the one that actually has assets, she could end up paying half yeah. of what she what she owes. Yeah, it's which not I just think the at man that man point, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not just the man. There's not just the men anymore. It definitely, it can be taken away from me. So yes. And judge, before we go, what would be your best advice to the average person? if they want to protect what they have. Uh, consult an attorney, consult your tax person, ask them about a trust, ask them about an annuity, uh, ways that, you know, to me a trust is if you want to protect your assets from somebody else, an annuity is if you want to protect your assets from yourself. Otherwise, in other words, are you worried about spending too much of your own money so you can have a plan pay out later on in life, but consult a professional uh, to set up your trust. All right. We want to